Coming up next, they've got him. The molester is subject of a nationwide search caught this evening in Holden. And why are the cops arresting the principal at his own middle school? The news starts now. You're watching WAFB 9 News at 10. Good evening, I'm Donna Britt. And I'm George Sells. The convicted sex offender behind a nationwide hunt has been captured and captured right here in South Louisiana. And our Street Beat photographic crew has just met him face to face at the Livingston Parish Jail. Street Beat reporter Greg Merriweather is live on the beat. Greg. Hello, George. Police from California to Louisiana are popping the champagne corks tonight for sure. They have been turning over every leaf they could find in the search for David Sprung. He's the man who loves candy, especially lollipops, but it was his twisted love for little girls that's marked him as a sex criminal and one of the country's biggest fugitives. Here he is, 47-year-old David Sprong, a registered sex criminal in California. He served time and was later rearrested on multiple charges of molesting little girls. He fled California, jumping a $1 million bail and headed to Humble, Texas. Three different times now, he's been featured on America's Most Wanted. David Sprong is a guy you love to hate, a convicted child molester on the run. He's accused of sexually assaulting girls as young as eight. Sprong is a pro at auto repair and has been working in Texas doing just that. That's where he hired this girl here to answer phones. She says right away he was up to his old tricks. He put his hand up my skirt and he started like massaging my thigh and he moved all the way up to my butt. And he's like, I hope you're, are you comfortable? And I didn't say anything because I didn't want to freak him out or anything, you know? After his latest appearance on America's Most Wanted, he fled Texas, taking his girlfriend and their young daughter with him. His SUV was found Monday at the Somewhere Else Lounge in Hammond. Thursday afternoon, the feds say they found him at work at the A to Z Auto Salvage in Holden. He'd been working there for about three weeks now, repairing cars. All right, after his arrest, Sprong led police to his girlfriend and their daughter. Oprah Winfrey had actually featured Sprong on her show and offered a $100,000 reward for his arrest. The feds would not give us any specifics tonight about whether anyone will actually get that reward, saying it was a combination of good police work and a few good citizens' tips that led them to their man in Holden. We'll keep you updated on this one. Okay, a Livonia High School sub substitute teacher is arrested on a 10-year warrant during a traffic stop. This is Natalie Jackson. She also goes by Kenosha Green. After a traffic stop and a background check, Livonia police stumbled on Jackson's seven aliases. She also has two social security numbers. It turns out the East Baton Rouge Sheriff's Office had a warrant for her arrest dating back to 1997. She's been charged with bank fraud and theft. A spokesman from the Point Capi School Board office says Green was a substitute teacher there and that she did undergo a background check and was cleared. Since her arrest, Green has been cleared from the school board's system, and she will not be returning to Livonia High. That is our beat tonight. Thank you, Greg. An otherwise quiet South Baton Rouge neighborhood is dealing with some serious snarling. More than five dogs, four cats are living inside and outside this house on Elvin Drive near Burbank. But neighbors say no people live there and haven't for weeks. They say the animals get fed once a week. A woman claiming to be the owner of the animals called Nine News tonight saying she spends a lot of money on her pets, but she's had to leave them for days at a time because her mother is ill. An animal control officer put a 24-hour notice on the family's door citing multiple violations. I mean, outside they were nasty. The stench was unbearable. So imagine how it smells on the inside. The animal control supervisor says they are still working on this case. He says they will do whatever they can to fix the problem there on Elvin Drive. Defense lawyers for convicted South Louisiana serial killer Derek Todd Lee want another extension to file an appeal. But the state Supreme Court has already said their time has run out. Marsha Witter says since she was summoned for jury duty in Orleans Parish and because she's overworked, she needs 75 more days to file Lee's initial appeal. Lee was sentenced to death December 10th, 2004, three years ago for the murder of Charlotte Murray Pace. Lee was also impl implicated in the murders of five other women in South Louisiana. Pace's mother is fed up. They have had m more time, wow, they, they are just, these attorneys just rally around him as though his life were so much more precious than the lives of all those wonderful, wonderful women, and I, I don't understand it. The Supreme Court told Lee's defense when it granted the last extension that it would be the final extension. We'll have to wait and see if the high court sticks to that ruling.
There are several reports out tonight that Britney Spears is in rehab again. Two of those reports say her mother, Lynn, drove her to the Promises Drug and Alcohol Center in Malibu, California last night. Spears and Kevin Federline are going through a divorce and have reportedly agreed that he would keep their two children while she's in the program. The Louisiana native has had a strange week that included checking in and out of rehab twice, shaving her head bald and getting two tattoos. In a WAFB online poll, we asked if you thought Brittany would stay in rehab and get the treatment she needs this time. 16% of you said yes, while the majority, 57%, believe she'll leave early again. 27% of you don't even believe she's there right Right now. And the circus atmosphere of Anna Nicole Smith's death was cranked up a notch in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, in a courtroom there. Judge Larry Seidlin choked back tears as he delivered custody of Smith's, her body, to the guardian for her new infant daughter. And I hope to God you guys give the kid the right shot. <laughs> Sign this order, effective almost 4 o'clock. That denies custody to Anna Nicole's mother from Texas, the heavyset blonde woman, and her current live-in lover, lawyer Howard K. Stern. The Guardian plans to move the body to the Bahamas, perhaps tomorrow, to be buried alongside Smith's 20-year-old son, still to be settled in a Los Angeles court, who is the new baby's real father. It goes online tomorrow in a test at the Phoenix airport. It's what some call a super scanner to search for weapons. But how much of you can it see? Apparently, that's completely up to the person operating it. Bob War has the story. It's called a backscatter x-ray. Critics call it a digital strip search. Here's how it works. A passenger stands in front of a large scanner. X-rays penetrate clothing but bounce off the traveler's body generating a silhouette-like image that looks like this. But backscatter x-rays have been highly controversial. Earlier versions were explicitly revealing, capturing pictures in which people appeared nearly naked. The new backscatter, which will be tried out in Phoenix, is not nearly that graphic. Its software adds privacy filters. And security officials stress the images will not be saved. At least at the outset, backscatter x-rays will be voluntary. Most passengers will pass right by them. And those who are pulled out of line for extra screening can choose backscatter or a traditional pat-down. And the technology will eventually spread to more airports. Bob Orr, CBS News, Washington. Insurgent terror squads in Iraq are suddenly changing tactics once again. They're issuing their own video showing the building of chemical weapons, not the type that kill hundreds with a single drop. They're launching bombs filled with chlorine gas, and it's going to go doing this to anyone near them. So far, the new tactic has killed 16 people, but how many people have been maimed with permanent injuries, that's still unknown. A Baton Rouge man says he plays the lottery every week using his own numbers, and it looks like it paid off. Roy Carter won $1,132,000 jackpot from Saturday's drawing. After taxes, he'll take home nearly $800,000. He bought his ticket at S&P Food Store on Gardeer Lane. That store gets over $11,000 just for selling him the ticket. Carter says he plans to build a house with a swimming pool and buy a new car. Well, the Lady Tigers took on Vanderbilt tonight in Nashville. We'll have highlights as Nine Sports brings you those later in the broadcast. Also, can a local boy make it big? Country music singer David St. Romain tries to win a huge recording contract chance tonight. It may look like something that would make you dizzy, but in actuality, it fixes the problem. I'm Phil Rainier. I'll have more in a Nine News Extra edition of Healthline. Most of you in the mid and upper 50s right now. High clouds moving in from the west, and there's fog along the coast. This is 9 News at 10 on Louisiana's News Channel. It is called positional vertigo. It's a severe, unpredictable dizziness that can ruin your life. A few years ago, a Baton Rouge era nose and throat clinic helped usher in a whole new era in treating vertigo. And as Phil Rainier tells us in tonight's 9 News Extra edition of Healthline, now that clinic's going to new extremes and offering some high-tech relief. This man has no idea what's about to happen to him. Gerard Gunagundo suffers from positional vertigo, which means the room can start spinning at any time for no reason, creating a feeling of extreme dizziness. When you get that feeling, that vertigo feeling, you just don't feel like doing anything. 
It may look like something used to train astronauts at NASA, but it's not. In fact, it's one of only three devices of its kind in the world. Gerard's got an improvement with hands-on treatment, but he hopes a few rounds in this high-tech invention will give him more long-term relief. It's called the Epley Omnimax. It's at the Ear and Balance Clinic in Baton Rouge, not only to treat patients, but as part of a nationwide study to see just how effective it is. It works a lot like hands-on therapy, where a doctor physically maneuvers a patient to get dislodged crystals in the ear responsible for dizziness back in the canals where they belong. Unfortunately, there are only so many positions a doctor can put a patient in to make that happen. Sometimes you have to flip the patient on, you know, 360 degrees. And not only can the Omnimax do that, it's able to put patients in at least 30 different highly specialized positions, making it possible for ear crystals to navigate like BBs from one ear canal to the other until they're in place.